Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Eileen and this is Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. First, I want to apologize for the uh, bit of a break that I've needed to take. Um, it's been kind of a, a rough time. I found out, um, well, last week, my dog Sam, who's my bestest buddy, and he's over here just kind of resting. Um, he had to have a mouse removed, and on Tuesday, um, this past week, I found out that it is cancer. And so my, my dog, my friend, you know, my best boy, um, he's going to be leaving me and it's not today and it will be soon because, um, the nature of the cancer, um, and especially at his age, you know, he's around 13, uh, it, he doesn't have much of a chance to do well. And it is a type that kind of goes out and affects multi organs. So, um, the goal is to keep him comfortable. The goal is to, you know, allow him to have the best quality of life while he can. And I'm going to be meeting with the doctor next week to talk to her about that. And, um, you know, as to how we manage that. And it's hard. And it was kind of, it was difficult for me to focus on this. And, and I felt bad. I felt really bad about the fact that I wasn't, you know, being there for you guys. I just didn't have it in me. And I started this year with the loss of my brother and it looks like I will end this year with another loss. And when we're faced with stuff like this, you know, sometimes we do need to take a step back. Sometimes we do need to regroup. Sometimes we do need to, um, to sort of give ourselves a break and not put pressure on ourselves. You know, it is, grieving is difficult and yeah, I've got kind of a heads up on it and a sort of a head start on grieving. It is strange to think that my life will be, you know, one that doesn't include him because it's included him for well over a decade. And my cat, Luna, you know, he's her best buddy. So she already knows that something's wrong. And ultimately, everything passes from this life. And we just have to be able to deal with the fact that what we have here is as precious as it is temporary. And we never know, you know, what day, you know, is going to be that important day. And the most we can do is just make the most of the time we have. It's not about how long we live. It's about how much meaning we give to the time that we've got. And I just kind of wanted to um, get you guys caught up and to let you know that um, I know that, you know, those of you who know are sending me good thoughts. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate that energetic support. You know, I'm an empath and a pretty good one if I say so myself. So I can feel that support and I'm really very grateful for it. You know, it's weird that, you know, once you get to a certain point in life, especially if you've had a lot of pets, you know, you know what that is. And I have been through this with several pets, which is weird because it always struck me that this was the one thing that practice did not make you better at it. I mean, yeah, you 
sort of, you know, know the steps. But each being, each pet that we connect with, it's unique. It's a unique relationship. It gave something unique to us. And when that one piece of uniqueness is gone, you really notice it. You're really aware of it. So, um, it's, it is kind of a tough time. It's, it's, and I mean, you know, we've got the fire and losing my brother and, you know, having to deal. There's been a lot this year that I've had to de deal with. And I still intend to finish it with something positive. I still intend to be able to find that whatever it is by the end of this year that I will say, Hey, I have this, I, I accomplished this. And, you know, as far as Sam goes, I know that we've had a very, very good life together and he's had a good life. He's enjoyed life. And, um, it's interesting because when I think of the first time I met Sam, um, he was growling. <laughs> he was frustrated. He was agitated. He wasn't aggressive, but you know, he was, he didn't have any balance in him. And the woman who I got him from, you know, he bit her. And at that point, you know, nobody believed in him and he was going to be put down. And she said, when I called her up and told her that, you know, well, what was happening and that we would be losing Sam. I thanked her for being the one to bring him into my life. And she thanked me for believing in him enough to save his life because his life would have been ended then. And Sam has touched so many lives. There are so many people who, you know, find him just, you know, they, he gives them a wag and, and, uh, you know, one of his big smiles and he's touched a lot of lives. So I, um, I'm grateful that he touched mine. And it's funny because his name was originally Ryder. And I always felt that that wasn't his name. So when he came to live with me, I looked at him and I said, you know what? Your name is Sam and you are a faithful companion and you are brave and you are confident and together we can do anything because I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. So Sam, I mean, it, it was actually Samwise, but that I would call him Sam. And it's funny because from that moment, he answered to the name Sam. It was like, it was a new identity for him rather than being fearful, rather than being apprehensive, rather than, you know, being filled with anxiety. Sam was at peace, Sam was confident, and Sam was faithful and strong. And it was funny how he became all those things. And he has been that for me for a very long time. So, um, I will be, you know, updating you guys and I will be letting you know about this part of Sam's journey. And for those of you who have a pet, please give them a hug. Maybe if they, you know, have an accident on the carpet, be a little forgiving and remember that their safety and their lives need to be safe in your hands. And when Sam is no longer enjoying life, when he is not able to hold on to a quality of life, when he's tired, I'll know. And that's another good thing about being an empath is that it's a little easier to set aside what we want and what we feel because we instinctively connect to what they feel. And I'll know.
and you know we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but until then we've got each day i've got and and i mean he's getting spoiled he he has pain medication that he takes that's keeping him comfortable and so he gets roast beef twice a day and he's really enjoying that so making whatever time he has very enjoyable to you know cuddle him as much as i can to you know to to i mean he doesn't really walk much anymore but for the little ways he does walk to you know just stay right by his side as he stayed beside mine now i was it's not my intention to have this be a downer and and i want it to be honest and i've always been honest with you guys and it's especially important for me to be honest now so i wish you the best of every moment of love that you can get from those around you whether they walk on two legs or four whether they have feathers or fins or scales whatever appreciate the love in your life and always remember that the only thing greater than the price of love is the power of it so thank you for joining me and um as i said i'll keep you posted I will get back into posting and and we'll be talking more about what we want to accomplish by the close of the year. And I thank you for being there for me and for Sam and for Luna and for just being present with us through this very sacred experience and this very sacred time. Because this is a sacred time because he gets to go home. and um i know he'll be waiting for me so if you have any questions comments or concerns you can leave them in the comments section you can reach me through the links in the description and um i will be you know posting up some pictures of sam so um take care And as always, I wish you balance, and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you, and see you next time.